I have some more bad news for you guys. It's just been reported on the news. A new research finding intermittent fasting may pose risks to your heart. The practice where people eat within an eight hour window or less. Researchers finding it poses a significant risk of dying from cardiovascular disease. Now this sucks because I have to now change 442 of my videos. So I got my work cut out for me this weekend. So just to be safe, I think what you should start doing is you should start eating at night, snacking between your dinner and right before you go to bed. And then as soon as you wake up, start eating because we have to save your heart. Now, apparently the study is mainly focused on cardiovascular mortality, but they did find that if you do fast for longer than 16 hours, it does lower your risk for cancer. So you need to choose do you want to lower your risk for heart attack or cancer? Now, of course, I'm being super sarcastic again. This was an abstract, okay? That means a short summary of an observational study. It was based on a 24-hour dietary recall. It's based on having that person remember what they ate, which I don't even know what I ate two days ago. And they mainly looked at this pattern of 16-hour fasting with an eight-hour eating window. Now, this was uh, sponsored by the American Heart Association, so we know it's legitimate because they're very unbiased. The findings set to be presented at an American Heart Association conference. But this is just another one of those studies where all you have to do is put a little doubt in the consumer's mind, and that's enough to get people to question, you know, should I do it? Should I not? Is it going to be dangerous? Am I going to have a heart attack? This is a tactic that the tobacco industry has used for many, many years. Now, what I found about the author, Victor Wentz Zhang from China, I've heard about this author before, which directly opposed red meat and eggs and cholesterol. And of course, all of these studies are also observational studies. And so apparently these studies were sponsored by the American Heart Association Strategically Focused Research Networks. But the American Heart Association is the same association that promotes healthy seed oils for your heart. Personally, my viewpoint is they're not very heart healthy, but the reason they can get away with it is because it does apparently lower cholesterol. But that's a whole different topic. What I wanna just kind of mention right now is <laughs> four more credible studies that were peer reviewed that talk about the benefits of intermittent fasting and supporting cardiovascular health. So the first one was a single-blinded randomized study. I'm going to put all these down below in the description. Uh, Long-term effects of time-restricted eating with resistance training, right? And this was over 12 months. Significant decrease in body mass, fat mass, decrease in inflammation, increase in insulin sensitivity, and also a more balanced lipid profile. Without adverse effects... It was safe and effective for improving cardiovascular function. Number two, this was a non-randomized control clinical trial for time-restricted feeding on body composition in cardiovascular risk. So they did an 18-hour fast, significant decrease in waist circumference, and significant decrease in cardiovascular risk. All right, number three, systematic review impact on intermittent fasting with cardiometabolic risk factors through four randomized control trials, the results were intermittent fasting demonstrated significant reduction in body weight, waist circumference, body mass, fat mass, blood pressure, decreasing cholesterol, triglycerides, fasting insulin levels, and improvement in insulin resistance. All right, number four also evaluated this uh, pattern of 16 and 8. 16 hour fasting and eight hour eating window. This was on breast cancer survivors. It was just for eight weeks, but there was a significant decrease in cardiovascular risk. There was decreased risk in visceral adipose tissue. And so, you know, as much as I hate doing another video on something ridiculous like this, someone's going to read it and someone might have some doubt. You don't have to have any doubt. This so called study was completely ridiculous and you pretty much can ignore it. And since we're talking about cardiovascular health, if you have not seen this video, you should really check it out. I put it up right here.